But that was like, so every once in a while, like when I'm feeling like I really need to like get like one whole elaborate message off my chest, uh, I'll like, I'll, I'll lay down a rap track. Nice. And so in your band, do you rap also or you just play the guitar? Uh, I mean, like I'll add some backup like vocals. I'll like, I'll like kind of reinforce the lines, but I'm only, I mostly just play guitar. Like, actually, it's kind of funny. When I was at Churchill's uh, two weeks ago, I was just, like, out of control. Like, because Churchill's, you know, it's a, it's a dive bar. So I was just, like, out of control. And the, the sound guy accidentally gave me a microphone. And, like, my <laughs> band was like, yeah, they were like, my band was like, we were never giving you a microphone <laughs> again. You need to shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Like, I, I was having fun with it. And so how long have you been in this band? I heard you're also going to Brazil with them this summer. Yeah, we're going to have a short tour in Brazil. Uh, yeah, the Cornerstoners. I joined them in November. They've been a band for about three years. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the, two, the two front people are M Michelangelo and Lacy, and they've been dating for almost two years. But Lacy's an amazing jazz singer. Michelangelo's an incredible rapper. And um, I, I met them through Alana Dim, a percussionist here, also a music engineer at University of Miami. And um, yeah, their guitarist, he, uh, he started going to school at, uh, what's it called? Berklee School of Music in Boston. So they needed a replacement and I've been jamming with them since then. It's been a real fun time. Okay. And so what would you, what kind of music do they play? The way I would describe it, <laughs> um, the way that the old guitarists used to write was kind of like, they, they kind of they kinda bring like a, hip, a Latin hip hop feel to it kind of like a Cuban jazz feel to it. So he used to, he used to do a little kind of jazzy stuff with it. Kind of like the Funky Meters or uh, Sly and the Family Stone. So it kind of sounded a little rock and roll, but with a touch of funk. But when the songs that I've been writing with them is, I'm like very heavily influenced by like a lot harder rock. Like my guitar playing sounds like a little bit like Mike Onsinger from Incubus. So those people have influenced you throughout the years too? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Incubus is one of my favorite bands, and Led Zeppelin is as well. The Chili Peppers as well. Um, so I kind of take I kind of take from them. Uh, Incubus kind of having that kind of weird, spacey kind of futuristic sounding guitar, and um, and the Chili Peppers having just like uh, just kind of lightly adding over the top, just mm -hmm. a little bit of a percussive element, not so much melodic or harmonic. Uh, element to the uh, to the equation of the music, I really okay. like to let the let the rest of the music take over because what Michelangelo and Lice are saying lyrically is just it's something beautiful. It's all about starting like starting like your life off fresh every day and spreading love, and but it comes in the form of hip hop, which is which, which I really like. You don't get that in hip hop enough these days. But I've also heard not to change this topic too much, but that you have a bunch of nicknames. Oh no. So what are some of your nicknames that have been going around campus? Okay, well, well right now, like the name that I've been going by for about two years now is uh, Crispy, but that's my real name. Like people, I, people come and be like, what's up? Like I'll tell them they're Crispy, that I'm Crispy, and they'll be like, that's not your real name. <laughs> my name. My name is Chris P. Valente. So it was funny, I was, I was beatboxing, just like chilling, rapping with one of my friends a couple summers ago, and he was like, Man, you know, you're beat. he made a rhyme like, I don't give a, you know, because Chris has beat so crisp. And I was like, that's funny, man, because my name is Chris P. And we just turned to each other like, oh, my <laughs> really God, funny. my name is Chris P. Like, so I kind of been rolling with that one. I like Chris P. Valente a lot. That's funny. And um, but before that, like everyone knew me as Chops because I have like these Ooh. big mutton chops. But. I don't know, it became too much of a label, so I shaved him off once I became yeah. crispy. Well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us tonight, Chris. <laughs> it's, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for having me on, Colleen. And thank you all for watching. This has been Colleen Durney with UMTV Spotlight.